My water is almost to a boil, so that's a good sign. Now that the water's been getting heated here for a minute or two and I can see there's some bubbles on the bottom, I'm just going to gently stir using one of these popsicle sticks, the glue. And already I can feel it starting to melt because it's sticking a little bit to the bottom of my little crock here. So we're just going to kind of stir it a bit and it will eventually kind of absorb more of the water and become a bit more runny consistency. It's just a patience game. Sitting here, waiting, wishing, hoping it'll mix faster, but just gotta stick with it. And already you might be able to see there's some goober, like I was talking about, that goober, like you get on the inside of a gift card that's on the end of it here. And again, just doing my best to scrape as much of that off as I can. can use another stick to help me keep that in the water pinch it off in there and just wait for it to be ready. All right, so the pot is at a rolling boil and my glue is dissolved at this point into the fluid. It's a pretty clean, clear consistency and so the glue is basically ready to go. And so to get the bridge started with boiling it to see if we can unwarp it, First, I'm gonna pop out these feet. I don't know if you can see this, but my bridge came with swivel feet to help it better um, go into place on the instrument. I'm just gonna to toggle it back and forth till I figure out which direction here best comes out. So now I've separated the foot. I'm gonna put that down. I don't wanna boil the feet. Since the feet are contoured to my instrument, I don't want to risk hurting them. So I just kind of wiggle them back and forth till they pop free. Now the what they've suggested online on different base forms I've looked at is boiling it until it sinks. Once it sinks, it's done. So I gently put it in and look at that. Whee! Floating around in there. So now it's time to start touching up the violin in the meantime. So I'm going to pull over the violin. Not close enough to any burners where it's going to get hurt. May want to put a towel down. I don't need to worry about it. My stove tends to not get very hot in here or warm even. So the area that's cracked is right along here at the seam. So I take my paintbrush, swirl it around, give it one last go, make sure it's all loaded up pretty well. I'm gonna look into my seam and just kind of paint and flood that seam with glue. Try to get as much glue to flow in. I would take advantage of starting at the top of your seam so that the glue kind of cascades and waterfalls into place there. Just enough, and we can wipe up the excess in a moment. Put my brush down, and again, as I said before, I need to work relatively quickly. So I grab a couple of skid pads, find a clip I'd like to use. There goes a bit of tape. Pair with the first side, drape it over the edge. Oh, there it goes. This part can be a bit of an art. Sometimes it helps to wrap these up first. Okay. check that the seam is all set and closed. Put just that in place and you're basically set. It should tack dry in two hours but I always leave it sitting overnight. And you've got, and even though it took a couple extra seconds, you don't need a ton more. I'm gonna get ready to flip my bridge here. Cooking it till al dente. Make sure you use lots of oregano. I'm just kidding. Sometimes I like to just touch it up one more time with my brush just to make absolutely sure I've got it all set. Looking at it, it looks nice and tight. This clamp is pretty strong and pretty mean. So I'm going to take this, move it away, put it off to the side. Everything looks good and 
dandy with it. So now I can turn my attention back to the bridge. Let's grab my spoon from earlier. Just kind of rotate it. There it goes. Making that water nice and brown. Like a weird bridge tea of sorts. Okay, so to wrap up, the violin is sitting on the table where it can dry out for 8 to 12 hours. I wouldn't recommend taking the clamps off any sooner. And while the glue can tack up in two hours, again, just leave it alone. Let it rest. Let the glue really soak in and do its job. Keep the pressure on it and make sure that it cures properly so that way you don't have to mess with this any more than you have to. As far as the bridge goes, I pulled it out of the boiling water. It was still a teensy bit curved, so I was a bit disappointed it didn't straighten out all the way, but it was better than it was before. So to try and help straighten it out the rest of the way, I've got it sandwiched between these plastic cutting boards here with layers of paper towel to help wick away excess moisture. And I've got these heavy books of mine on top, go green, to help squish it into shape. And again, most suggestions with steaming or boiling bridges say to leave it for, again, 8 to 12 hours to just make sure the pressure has as much time as it can to work with that heat that we've put into it through boiling it to try and stretch those wood fibers back into their proper form. If it doesn't work, I won't be heartbroken. Again, it's just a spare. My new bridge is quite nice and I'm not looking forward to replacing it again anytime soon, so hopefully it lasts me a good long time. And I will either take a picture tomorrow morning or do a little video update to stick on to the end of this video to show you what the final results were. And again, I hope you have found this all very helpful so far. It's the next day and here are our results. We have the seam on the violin completely closed and it's holding strongly, so that's a big success. And as far as the base bridge, I was quite surprised and happy to see that when I moved the textbooks from the bridge, it looked pretty straight, so I let it dry a few more hours while I was at work uncovered, sitting with the 90 degree surface of the bridge against the table, and it straightened pretty much the rest of the way out, so it looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of warping there, but it's definitely worth trying in the future if I needed a spare for any reason. So I'm pretty happy about that as well. Again, thank you for watching today and I hope this has been helpful. Again, you do this at your own risk if you choose not to go to a professional luthier and if you do decide to do it, I hope you find it a fun process and rewarding. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.